How you doing? Dave Baker with uh, Rockford Corporation. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is our new BRT technology. It's a boosted rail technology. Uh, we have two models that we're going to be introducing this year. It's a 300 by 1, 300 watts at 1 ohm, uh, one channel, and then uh, 304, so 75 watts by 4 at 4 ohm. Um, one of the unique aspects of, of the BRT is that it's a high efficiency amplifier that's in a, a subcompact chassis. Um, it has uh, the sound quality of a traditional linear Class AB amplifiers. It's got uh, quick disconnects for easy install. It's all off-board connections. You can mount the unit and uh, do all your connections off-board. Get up to the unit, plug everything, plug and play. Uh, it's installer friendly, has a lot of very useful install features, has a high level turn on feature. So if you're running speaker level uh, inputs, it uses that DC component on the speaker level to actually turn on the product. And then the AP actually becomes a remote output so you can daisy chain other accessories on, on the, in the system as well. And these are at affordable prices, right? Yeah, map for both of these are $199. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the, the product size here is relatively small. If I can give you a, kind of a, a reference, that's my Blackberry. So it's about twice the size of my Blackberry. A little bit thicker, uh, but compared to one of our traditional amplifiers, it's much thinner. So it's going to fit in places that uh, traditional amps won't fit, you know, up under dashboards, glove compartments, that kind of thing. Great. And because of the efficiency of the product, the gauge, the wire requirement is only 10 gauge. So you don't have to run a large 4 gauge wire uh, from the battery to the product and get away with running this 10 gauge wire, which is pretty convenient in most applications. Great. Um, so. Essentially what boosted rail will allow us to do, it's like I was saying it, now it gets us in, into applications that normal products wouldn't, uh, it would just wouldn't be feasible. So you, with the you know motorcycles, the size is very important and also the efficiency, the current consumption is very important. And then, uh, you know, ATV, that type of application, same, same thing. Uh, of course, it works in our conventional applications as well, you know, with the cars and trucks, no problem there. Um, here, here again is another look at the size difference between the traditional and, and the BRT amplifier. And we were pretty small with our traditional lamps as it was, so this really takes a big jump in that subcompact, you know, chassis size that that we were aiming for. This graph right here is an example of current draw, average current to draw between a traditional Class AB amplifier and then the BRT. So the traditional is in red. You can see that in most cases it's much higher than, than the BRT current consumption. So that bodes well for, for vehicles that have uh, you know limited uh, current capacity in, in their electrical systems. What impedance do they go down to? The mono will go down to 1 ohm, so you're going to develop your 300 watts at 1 ohm, and then the 4 channel is set up to drive 4 ohm and above. So okay. it's really kind of an application amplifier. Our thinking is, is that most people with a 4 channel amplifier this size are going to be wiring it up to 4 speakers that are rated at 4 ohm. So um, that, that's the impedance that it goes to. If the impedance of the woof, or not the woof, of the speaker drops, which they do, yeah, we'll have no problem with that. It'll walk right through it and keep on playing like nothing happened. Okay. Great. Um, I don't know if you want to show actually how it works on the waveform. On the oscilloscope here, I can pull up a sine wave. So what you're seeing here is the output waveform and then also the voltage rail. So normally, because this product does not have a conventional DC to DC power supply burner, all you have to work with is whatever the battery voltage is. So normally, you would run into that rail and that would be it. You would be out of gas. That would give you about 150 watts. With the boosted rail technology, you actually boost that rail and you can boost it to double the battery voltage. 
so you get that is where you get your 300 watts and you also get your efficiency there because you can see that the signal and the rail track together and the, the, mo the more voltage potential that you can take off of the signal off the outputs the better your efficiency is going to be and the better your, your thermals are going to be so that's what allows us to get into this small package okay great thanks dave